What's up, everybody? Uh, Afro Joe here, and uh, this, this is terrible news that uh, one of my uh, now live brothers, PH Fang, has passed away Wednesday. Uh, he passed away. It says Tuesday he passed away, and and it was kind of sad to find out that somebody you knew for so long. I knew he was sick. I knew he was sick because when we started becoming friends, he told me he was battling an illness. It was cancer that he was battling it, and he had to go see chemo. And to find out that he passed away, I've been knowing this PH Fain since '07, like five or six years, and to see him pass away like that. Somebody that you knew for so long passed away. Like I knew, we lost one guy, uh, Devil Dodge, good friend of mine, good friend of mine, passed of a heart attack a few years ago, and it's sad to see another now our brother passing like this, because we. Had so much love for this guy. This guy was something else. This guy always came to my shows on that live. Even when I did shows on live video, this cat came to my shows. And I can still remember the conversations we had every time I had a show on. He he would call into my shows. This is back when I was on that live, and me and him would get to talking and. We would get to talking and and we'd be joking around and all this and that. And he stepped up and said, Hey, PH Fang, what's, how's everything going? It's going on. And it's like, like so was here. And I can still hear that can I was like, Man, how was your day? I said, Yeah, it was all right, man. I had to go to chemo. Chemo? I said, Yeah, man, I got the cancer. Damn. It was alright, man. Out of the lake. I always talked about that lake. And his dog. I can still remember it. I can still remember it like it was yesterday. He brought up about his dogs. I can never forget about him bringing up about his dog. That was like something else. I said, what kind of dog you got? And every time he calls in, he always like, hold on, let me get up and let my dogs out, Afro. And, uh, and, and to find out now that the guy you knew for six, seven years has passed away, man, it's, like the worst news to ever give, man, from anybody, even when you find out on Facebook, it's the most worst news to ever get. When I find about Devil Dodge, a good friend of mine from now life, passing, it was the worst news. Find out my best friend's passing it was worst news. Find out a relative's passing is worst news. Even though PH Fame wasn't my wasn't my relative, he was my now live brother, and he was always gonna be he's always gonna be my now live brother, no matter what anybody says today. He's always gonna be my now live brother, and I can still hear him 
today, man, I remember there was an incident. And I was so proud of him that he did this. There was an incident in my show. There was a fight. Uh, a friend of mine, Bones, was setting this guy, this guy Jojo, in this place for what he, Jojo did. And a good friend, P.H. Fang, calls in. He says, look, you're ruining Wookiee's show. He didn't care about what was going on. He thought about your kid. You're ruining my friend's stuff. Even though he didn't know what was going on, he stood there, man, and stuck up for my show, even though he didn't know what was going on. And I can still hear him saying that loudly as he can. And to find out this man that you know for so long has passed away, It's, it, it's, it's something else, man. Like, man, I ain't talked to him in, in a while, but to find out his past and never got to say goodbye, it's heartbreaking. You never got to say goodbye. And I don't care for all them people that still thinks I'm an asshole, man. Fuck y'all, man. I'm doing this. I'm saying goodbye to my friend. I don't give a fuck what y'all got to say. Man, fuck long and hard with cancer. Passed away. Passed away from cancer. That's, that's just terrible. He was sick and he still hung in there, fought that fight. He still fought that fight. I never met somebody that had an illness so badly that he still supported people. When he needed the support. And just. Just to see him go out like this. It's terrible. Yeah, and I know there's a lot of people sitting up there. You don't care about this man outside. That was my buddy. That was my friend. That was my friend. That was a guy I knew for so long. I ain't trying. I ain't. This is not a gay thing. This is like, man, you knew somebody for so long, man. They, like your buddy, man. He's like your brother. And you lose. And you lose that brother to something. Hated to see him go down like it, man. Hated to see him go down like it because the man was a, he was a good person. He was a good person. He was a good person. I give him a lot of respect. A lot of respect, man, because he never did nobody wrong. He knew how to make somebody laugh. How to brighten up a room. That's many, many times I did a show, man. I was in a bad mood, and he pulled me out of that bad mood when I was in the worst moods. He was one of them that can pull me out of the worst mood. And I'm glad I'm I'm glad that I got to meet him. Glad he got to be my friend. I'm glad that he got to come to my shows and support me when I had nobody in my shows. They're going to have his funeral Tuesday. 
October 10th, 2012, that's when his funeral. I wish I could go to say my last goodbyes, but it's going to be close enough. And the thing about this guy is, man, he, <laughs> this guy is, is something else, man. I'm a, <laughs> he is something else, man. I'm going to say it right here. This guy right here, man, is something else, man. He's pimping. I can call you and say he's pimping, man. And, uh, I just want to say about a roll of status. I wrote a status on my Facebook. And I dedicated it to him. And I said, hey, he might not be here in spirit. He might not be here in body, but he's here in spirit. Keep rocking, my brother, and I hope you save a spot for the bills, bro. I hope you, I hope you save a spot for the bills, man. But to lose a friend. To lose a good friend like him, man, it's, it's the worst thing. And I hope I hope, man, he's in heaven smiling down so many everybody really miss me, man. Yeah. Everybody's gonna miss him, man. He was something else, man. He was one of a kind. One of a kind. I miss Mask and said, Where the work at? That's what he always asked me. Say, I froze. Like, what? Where the work at? I do the work call for him. That is my prayers go out to his family and his friends. And then, and I'm gonna say this, man, to all the people that knew from that life that knew me. Let's just see when it happens when you hold a grudge and you don't keep in contact with people. You don't know what's gonna happen. You you don't know what's gonna you ain't gonna know what's gonna happen. So that's why I say now we need to forgive and forget, man, and come together, man, because. We keep on holding grudges against each other, man. We'll never know. We will never we'll never know who's gonna be next. We'll never know who's gonna be next because one thing is as long as you sit up there and you be angry and mad oh da da oh after this, man, you never know who's gonna be next and when you find out who passed away and you be the last to know you be heartbroken yourself. I'm glad, I'm going to say this, I'm glad I got to meet this man. I'm glad I got to become his friend. Because like I said, man, this man was one of a kind. One of a kind. Because it was something else, man. He knew everybody loved this man. Everybody. Everybody loved this man. <laughs> I miss going to his shows on Night Live, man.
I know he's up there, man, smiling down like, Wookie, Wookie. I'm, I know he's up there in heaven, so like, Afro, where's the Wookie? That's why I know what he's saying. Afro, where's the Wookie? <laughs> and that's, like I said, man, let's keep PH Fang in memory because I know I will. I know I will. And and never let go, man. Never let go. This right here needs to bring us together. Bring us together and realize something. All that fighting we did over the last few years should never happen. We should never get to a point where we was fighting. We should have hung in together. We should have supported each other. We should have showed more love to each other on our life because we was all brothers and sisters on our life. Let's do this for P.H. Fang, man. Let's do this for him, man. And Devil Die. And Esteban is another brother we lost on now live. We gotta do this, man, because we keep on saying, forget him, he talking bad about me, forget him, he talking about me, she forget her, she talking, did this, forget. If we don't stop with all this bigger and holding grudges, man, we're gonna keep on, we're gonna keep on losing love was like P.H. Fangs because man he supported a lot of people and I, and I should have been there these last few years supporting him when he needed it I should have been there supporting him when he needed it but I say this man I'm giving I'm showing him a lot of respect and love right now dedicating this video to him because he deserved he deserves to be remembered by everyone by everyone he met on that line. Everybody he became friends with. But like I said, I'm glad I got to meet him. I love him like a brother, man. <laughs> I will miss him talking about his dogs, man. That's one thing. I'm miss him talking about his dogs. That's one thing. I miss him talking about his dogs and his days. He said, look, I remember he showed me a picture. Look at this. See that river? I live near that. I remember he showed me a picture. He said, I live near that river. That's calm. He was calm, cool, and collected when he was sitting there chilling. But like I said, man, that show P.H. Fang all the respect and love we could. If all the motherfuckers that gonna watch this say, well, he's passed away, what the hell gonna do? Fuck y'all, man. This brother was was one of the fuck kind. He's family. He's fucking family, so fuck y'all. Y'all can sit there, uh, Afro, you don't give a fuck. Fuck you, too. If y'all don't think I give a fuck, fuck you, too. But, um, this video is gonna be dedicated to PH Fang. <laughs> Because he's something else, man. He's something else, man. If you ain't met this man, you should have met this man. If you got a story to tell about this man coming and being in your life, tripping you out, or hearing one of his stories, you know you met this man and you loved him like he's your family. And this has been Afro Joe. Ten like T.I. is again. Like I said, man, prayers go out to P.H. Fang's family and love and support because he's passed on. He's not here with us no more, but he's here with us in spirit. I'm going to say this, P.H. Fang, thank you for being my friend. Thank you. I miss you, brother.